assalamu alaikum everyone um today we are going to discuss the uh, roughness coefficient and the five pipe losses that pressure that we lose in the pipeline so first you have to go to online i am going to put there the pipe pipe flow and has an within formula here you will you will get an online uh, calculator also so now you can see that the formula is already there right and uh, if you go down there then there are some variables if you if you put there your variables and you just click calculate then you will get the answer right so but this is uh, what how i do online but let me show you some some you will go to this side let me zoom in pipe flow right this is the engineering tools so here you will find that we have different uh, equations here we have uh, darcy wesbach which is equal to flv square divided by 2 gd and uh, the problem with this uh, formula that it didn't give me accurate results so i'm not using this formula anymore uh, i'm using uh, not the modi chart that is very confusion confuse you and uh, i'm using hazen william formula in this formula you have uh, a coefficient um a coefficient of the uh, c factor this one you have length and uh, you have discharge and you have dia of pipe internal dia pipe so there are four variables three variables uh, you can see four variable even c is roughness coefficient is a variable so in this formula let me zoom it this formula hf is equal to flv uh, sorry 0.002083 multiplied by length multiplied by 100 by c power 1.85 multiplied by discharge power 1.85 divided by diameter internal dia char char power 4.86 so in this formula there are a couple of things which you should keep in mind number one that c factor that is separate for all type of pipes each pipe have their own value of c right second thing is the length this formula also depends upon the length length increases your your uh, losses will be increased and so and so on and uh, another thing is the uh, temperature the formula that uh, that it works on 15.5 uh, degrees C of water temperature, uh, but uh, there is no significant change because I tried it a lot. So here you can see that we have for cement pipe 140 C value and brass tube and copper and galvanized tubing, glass tube. That's so this is our PVC pipe, right? and uh, each pipe have, have their own uh, value so now i'm going back i will let you know that how i'm going to do it so when we go for total head let's suppose i am calculating my uh, pump uh, pump size for irrigation system for any purpose i'm going to fill my overhead tank so i will calculate total head so for that you will need line loss that line loss will come from hazen william formula right then you will need nozzle required pressure if you if you are going to install a sprinkler then there will be a specific chart let me show you how so that chart contains uh, the pressure requirement for each nozzle so i'm going to rainbird site 
and uh, that is a United States. So here I'm going to, uh, let's suppose I'm going to professional. So from professional, you will go to products. From there, I, let's suppose I'm going to select uh, sprinklers. So these sprinklers will appear here. So I'm going to rotors. Okay, there is something wrong. So each sprinkler will contain their own uh, chart. Let's suppose I'm going to 5000 series, right? This is a very good series, and uh, you will find I have, I'm facing some problem in my internet, but it's working again. Okay, here you will come down and uh, there you go. So in this uh, diagram, in this diagram you can see now that, let's suppose I'm working with nozzle 2.5. So you can see that there they are asking me for a pressure 35 psi, 25 psi. I'm going to achieve 33 feet radius, then I, I have to uh, give a sprinkler 25 psi pressure and I have to install 1.5 nozzle. And you can see that 1.12 gallon is their discharge and the precipita precipitation will be that much. If you go in square pattern, if you go in triangle pattern, so the precipitation will change. So that is the requirement of the nozzle requirement, right? So now elevation difference. Elevation difference is the, uh, the difference, the height difference between your pump impeller, or you can say impeller, uh, your pump I, and the sprinkler height, where your sprinkler is how much high it is from the your pump and the second thing is suction lift if you have a centrifugal type pump a surface pump and that is withdrawing water from a uh, well or from a reservoir and that water is below you from your impeller eye from your pump eye or impeller then there will be a suction lift because it's withdrawing, there is energy he is consuming to draw the water. So that will be also added. Now, the line loss is uh, the total the total loss. You will calculate all, all the losses and then you have to add some minor loss. Minor loss, we are uh, using that for fitting, etc. Okay, now, so the loss, the head loss in pipe, that is the has a William formula. I changed that a little bit uh, because I'm using some other terminologies uh, where my units are changed. So I'm going to discharge in GPM. C factor is C that is constant. L is length that I'm fitting. Uh, I'm uh, I'm using in feet, and internal dia I'm using in inches. So there is a little bit I'm changed. So I changed that formula for myself. So now you can see that I, I have to put their length if I have a pipe. And so I have, so let me, uh, first of all, let's suppose I have one inch pipe. So one inch pipe for that, I, ha I have to calculate the discharge. So that is equal to area multiplied by velocity. So area is equal to pi by 4 d square. So 3.14 uh, divided by 4 multiplied by d. d is here. Uh, where is internal dia? There it is. Okay. D. So that is in inches. So I will divide it by 12 and power 2. So that is area. Now multiply by velocity. So velocity column is uh, there. So velocity is in f uh, feet per second. So I'm going to change that into minutes. So multiply by 60 and I have to change the cubic feet into uh, gallons. So that is 7.49 is the converging factor. So
so let me so velocity velocity should be less than 5 uh, feet per second because if you touch that line then there will be water hammering and uh, water hammering is uh, such a phenomena or such a thing which can blast your all pipes all fittings everything and you and it will smash everything so be careful with that so i'm going to 4.5 feet per second c factor is 150 for uh, pvc pipe and internal dia is one inch for that pipe so you can see now that 11.02 is the gallons per minute i got okay now i'm going to calculate the head loss so head loss is equal to 4.55 multiplied by q by c so q is where here q by c is here power 1.852 multiplied by length length is there multiply by length divided by internal dia internal dia is here power 4.87 okay now that is 0 0 because I didn't enter the length let's suppose my length is 2000 uh, let me check there is some error oh this is not multiply this is power factor mm. and that is also power okay so everything is now fine so the formulas are set now I have just drag these formulas down but I have to change the the dia pipe. So that was one internal dia, and uh, the rest will also okay one. Sorry, one point five, two, three, and four. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to put there anything. Let's suppose one hundred, and one hundred, and one hundred, and one hundred, and one hundred. Right. Now you can see that we have differential loss here. We have 3.6, 2.2, 1.6, 1, 0.7, right? In four inch time. Uh, these are the calculation from internet, but I'm not relying on internet because there are some errors. They are not taking your dia, the, the dia, etc. You, you will face problem in there. So I'm using my own calculation. Now you will go down. And here you can see now you have now 20 uh, 9.19 uh, psi loss these are in psi so I convert it into feet here that is 22 21.2 feet loss that is just a multiplication factor you can convert to uh, a psi by multiplying by 2.31 okay now the total head how I will calculate so nozzle required pressure that you can you can see it again here that for, an, uh, for a specific sprinkler you have to put anything so you usually I work with this one 35 psi and I'm going to three number row nozzle and uh, this line I'm using okay 35 with 3 so here I will uh, put 35 psi now there are formulas they look and see you can see that here I have converted to feet now elevation, uh, elevation difference that how much above you are going from your pump to sprinkler. So in my uh, uh, landscape, I have undulations, I have some mounds, but those are not uh, very big one. But um, I can say one, one, one foot, not more than that, but I'm using a submersible pump. So submersible pump is with withdrawing water from a water table and my water table is about uh, 45 feet but wait a minute when you operate a pump and it draw water it creates a drawdown 
right what is drawdown let me show you drawdown the water will go down a bit and what will happen that will become a cone shape like this you can see now the water is gone down here water was here but when you start the pumping the water surface go down right so you have to be careful with that otherwise uh, you will face a problem so my water table is 45 feet but when i am withdrawing water my water table is going down about 65 so i am writing here 65 plus 1 feet 65 is my water table and 1 feet is my on top of the ground is the elevation right suction depth is zero in case of submersible right line losses that we have already calculated above that came here and 20 per, 20% i am using the special um, loss which is covering the fittings etc so that is 4.24 uh, foot and uh, total head is the summation of all these so that is 172 feet now you can see here that we i have already calculated so in all these calculation you must be careful and uh, number one is this this two lines you should not be do any type of error there and you must be uh, you must be careful uh, during the selection of internal dia right most of the pipe when you say internal dia they will give you a pipe but maybe maybe they will refer you out external dia let us suppose when you go to millimeters pipe like 32 mm pipe so when the, you will say 32 mm pipe that 32 is outer dia that is the outer dia that is not the inner dia so you must be careful you this is the internal dia that we uh, put here in the formula and number uh, number sec uh, second second thing is the velocity velocity should not more than 5 feet per second otherwise you will be in trouble so these are the a simple calculator that i have made uh, for my own work and uh, once you got the the head loss and uh, once you got the discharge then you can easily calculate the pump also so thank you for listening and please subscribe our channel and like the video thank you all of us